Today on Home Theater Fanatics, we're going to check out the SVS Prime Wireless Sound Base. Welcome back everybody. I'm Giles and this is Home Theater Fanatics. Today, we're going to look at a device that I've never really looked at. It's kind of a different thing that I've not quite touched on. It's not really an AVR. It's not really just an amplifier. It's the Prime Wireless Sound Base from SVS. And this thing is kind of a Swiss army knife of devices. It does amplification. It'll play your music. It'll turn a non-powered speaker into a powered speaker. It's super cool, and I'll go over all these features in the next few segments. But first, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll know when other cool content drops. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. While we unbox the unit, let's go ahead and talk about all the crazy features it has. Now, physically, it's a small box. It's about three by nine by nine, and it's got two spinny and clicky buttons on the front with a display in the middle and an SVS logo that lights up blue underneath. It's got a built-in amplifier, and it's 150 watts by two of Class D power, of course. It's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and you can also direct connect to it. It has a built-in DAC and it does 192 kilohertz by 24 bit. It can stream Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music, and a bunch more, and it can do it by Wi-Fi or Ethernet. On the back of the unit, you've got your speaker outputs, RCA ins and outs, the ever important subwoofer out, which means it's doing crossover. It's also got an ethernet in and out, an optical in, and then a phono jack auxiliary input as well. You'll find a Wi-Fi setup button and a Bluetooth setup button back there as well, which means yes, you can also stream to this via Bluetooth. If that's not enough, it's also Amazon Alexa compatible, so you can use voice control for this. Now, the most important part of all of this though is that this is controlled by the DTS PlayFi app and we're gonna get into that. So now that we've got this unboxed, let's go ahead and physically set this thing up and then I'll show you how to install the PlayFi app and show you how that works. Physical setup of the unit, at least in the simple form, is really straightforward. On the left side, you'll go ahead and attach your speaker cables, your left and right. And uh, pictured here are some snazzy SVS speaker cables. Uh, they just plug right in. As you move across to the right, uh, if you have a subwoofer, you'll wanna make sure to plug that in to the bottom left RCA output. It'll be labeled sub out. From there, let's go ahead and add ethernet as that we have that available. And finally, some power. Now let's figure out how to install this application. To get started, go ahead and go to the App Store and search for the DTS PlayFi application. This is the app that's going to manage the box and will act as your remote control. Uh, since this doesn't come with a physical remote control, this is what you'll use to control volume and also select what you want to listen to. Um, once you get the app installed, and it'll take a little while to come down, open that guy up, it'll prompt you to agree to a few things and then get you into the PlayFi application directly. The app immediately found the sound base. However, there was a requirement to go ahead and update the microcode on that box, which it did automatically. Now, I was a little worried because it took a while for this to, to finish. I cut out about 10 minutes of waiting for the update to download and install, and I was worried that my phone would go off or something in the interim and cause an issue. But everything stayed on, everything worked okay, and had no problems at all getting the update installed. Now, once you get that installed, you are off to the races. As you can see, there are a ton of different streaming services integrated into this tool. I'm a big Cobuzz fan, so I immediately went over, logged into my Cobuzz account, and fired that up. 
Um, as that you are logging into your account, it's going to sync over your playlists and all of your other customizations. And it did that without any issue whatsoever. And so I was very, very quickly inside of Koba's, inside my playlist, selecting songs and listening to the music that I'm accustomed to on the sound base. Now that you've had a chance to see the Prime Wireless Sound Base unboxed, set up, and the PlayFi app installed and configured, let's talk a little bit about how I feel about the unit. So the unit is really great from the point of view of that you can take this little box, it's a super tiny little box, and add speakers and immediately have sound anywhere. When you take these two components, the sound base and speakers, and if you want to go crazy, add in a subwoofer through the discrete subwoofer output, you really have a full hi-fi environment in a very small footprint. You don't have to have all these separate different devices doing different functions, and it makes things very, very simple. You can stream, you can Bluetooth from your phone. So however you typically consume your music, you'll be able to do it with the sound base. Now, where this doesn't really work is when you wanna have that very, very high-end, hi-fi environment where you want to have those separate devices, this isn't the right application for the sound base. The sound base is for a person who wants to take a single box, have great speakers, great power, great sound, all in one place together that's very very simple to set up and use so hopefully this information helps you decide if the prime wireless sound base is something that would be right for you if this information has been valuable to you take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel also check out the patreon you can see our current patrons right now and i would love to have you join our patreon family and support the channel thanks for watching and as always we'll see you in the next video